readers, we are in a unit called a deep study of character. And I know that a lot of you are going to want to pay special attention to your characters today in most days of this unit. So when you do that, you want to be paying attention to more than just what the characters say and do. You want to think deeper. You want to let your thinking about the characters grow to the next level. Here are just a few things you can keep in mind today and every day you, you read through the lens of the character. What feelings do the, does the character have? What traits are you noticing? What are they like? How would you describe their personality? Do they have a relationship with the setting? For instance, if the story takes place at school, does your character feel a certain way about school? Do they like school? Do they dislike school? Do they like one setting in the story better than others? For instance, I'm thinking about Percy Jackson, how when he's at school, he feels really uncomfortable and he hates it. But he also feels uncomfortable in other settings too with a lot of people. He feels best when he's in nature. Problems and struggles. Is there something that keeps coming up that gets in your character's way? I'm thinking about Percy Jackson again. He has trouble when he's in a classroom setting. He does better when he's on his own in nature, doing things that are more physical, more where he gets to let out his energies. Wants and motivations. Does the character want something? Is it that the character wants to be liked? Do they want to be included? Do they want to feel loved? Now I'm thinking about the character Will from my side of the story. Is it that he just wants his brother to get in trouble when he puts tape on his face? Or does he want something else? Does he want his parents to notice him? Does he want to feel like he's right? Hmm. Does the character undergo change? Let me tell you a secret, they probably do. Whenever you read fiction, the character will probably go through some sort of change, especially your main characters. It's up to you to figure out what exactly that is. It's going to take place over the whole course of the story, but there will be clues right off the bat about how and what that change will be. What about the relationships to other characters? Does the character have a friend? Do they have an enemy? Do they have an ally? Do they have a teacher or a mentor? Someone who acts like that? Do they have someone that loves them? Do they have someone that they wish loved them? So now take a look at this chart. Pick maybe one or two things that you can be focusing on, focusing on today as you read with characters in mind.